guys, what's up? It's me, Casey, and welcome back to my IGTV. I'm kind of bummed out that this is the last fan recipe video of this month. I received so many amazing recipes, and honestly, so far, me and my whole family have been loving each one, and I'm probably gonna be continuing to make them. But now we have landed ourselves back in America, and thank you for this recipe of baked banana oatmeal cups, which actually when I was looking at it, I didn't realize that it was like little cups of baked oatmeal. Now this is something that I really wanted to try, so I am excited. The recipe seemed like a lot that I was making, so I just halved it all. So instead of like three cups of oats, I did one and a half cup of oats and so on and so on. All right, well, there's not much left to do except to get baking or cooking or making oatmeal that's baked, cool. Let's do it. First step was to turn the oven on to 350 degrees. Next, in a large bowl, I put the oats, baking powder, cinnamon, and salt, and mixed it on up. I put aside that bowl, then I grabbed another bowl, put one banana in it, and started mashing the banana. I decided I wanted to try a cold transition, so here's an egg. I'm gonna crack it in here and start mixing it together with some coconut milk and combine all the ingredients. The next step was to pour the banana mixture onto the oats and mix that all together. A lot of mixing. It smells so good. And lastly, I am so happy that dark chocolate chips were included in this recipe. So thank you, you know me well, and thank you for suggesting this recipe. Ah, baking time. The next step was just to evenly divide the batter. Oop, don't mind that. I'm just gonna act like nothing ever happened. We're gonna clean up that little spill and I'm gonna divide the mixture evenly across the pan. And for this recipe, we only needed 11, so we're gonna get rid of the 12th. A little extra chocolate on top, and it's time that they go in the oven. Pretty simple recipe. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Hey Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It's cooking. Now we just gotta wait. Well, that was fast. Ah, I'm so excited. You should see what it looks like right now, though. It's just a little muffin on a giant wood cutting board. But they're so cute. It's like a little bite-sized piece. Ah. Here we go. Taste test, last fan recipe of this little mini series. Here we go. I love banana and the chocolate with it. You can't go wrong with chocolate, you really can't. It tastes sweet, but not overly sweet. But this, I would give this whole experience of making these baked oatmeal cups and the taste an eight out of 10. We definitely went out with a bang. This was really good. And thank you so much again for recommending this recipe. You said that it's okay if I don't give you credit, but you deserve the credit. This is amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this little mini series and make sure to comment down below if you liked it because I might be continuing it in the future because this was really just eye opening to me how many people from around the world that I have following me. And I always love trying new things. I'm into health and cooking and everything and just learning about different cultures as well. So if you want me to continue the series, make sure to comment down below and I will see you guys next time. I'm gonna finish this. And here's the last walkout. <laughs>